people might recognise Roy because we met you at Mac 2018 where you bought a Piranha Vice from Leader Chuck. But first of all, Roy, I want to get a bit of background. What's your business? Right. We manufacture a four-cylinder, two-and-a-half-litre rally and race engine. We've been doing it since 1990. It's gradually built up as a, from a hobby, which became a business, and we are very busy with it. Uh, we've invested heavily in new machines. Uh, my son is taking over the business, or he's running the business now. I'm called in to help, but uh, we bought the leader chuck from Mac, and um, they were, the guys were very helpful, Mark, uh, the uh, guy who sold us, and we'll be using it currently now. The little engine we make, um, we've probably done about 30 engines last year we're hoping to do more this year so anybody in rallying motorsport will know millington race engines yes we're we're well known in the mark ii escorts worldwide my first car by the way <laughs> mark ii escort that's it uh, it's, uh, and you, now they're actually manufacturing the shells and we are very busy uh, people are engine to, uh, ordering two engines at a time as opposed to haggling for three months so business <laughs> is quite good Excellent. Great, great example of British sort of industry manufacturing. What we're going to do, though, is have a chat with Julian and find out why he bought the Piranha Vice. Yeah, OK. Well, the Piranha Vice was, uh, it was something we needed, and as soon as we saw it, we knew that it would clamp. And the way he's trying to do the manufacturing now, with uh, minimum input from, from manpower, and so we load the machine and lights out running. And that's what we're after, and that's what we've got. So, Julian, Piranha Vice, I could see working all its glory on a DMG Mori behind us. So, talk me through why you bought it. Uh, well, I wanted it mainly because the size of it, access around the outside of it, and it'll hold something like that on 3 mil. Okay, so that's a nice big block of alley there. I could take massive cuts, yeah. um, and it won't come out. And sure. so, it's probably because of the teeth. Okay, yeah. You don't need to actually pre stamp it, it's got special teeth in, in the voice, is that right? That's right, that's right. Just clamp it up carefully. Um, and it repeats every time, so it's really good. So you know you're going to get every single time, repeatable, accurate, no issues? Yeah, no issues at all, oh, yeah. Okay. Now this is a fantastic machine, so exceptionally fast and quite a bit of power. Again, no problems with it, the device hold it, holding those billets? Yeah, no problem at all. I'd say um, the combination is pretty good, oh. yeah. Uh, the DMG Mori is working pretty well. Excellent. And also in terms of the device itself, other reasons why you bought it? Uh, probably because it's compact, because it's compact, I can rotate it right round, rotate the uh, bed right down at minus 90 degrees and the spindle doesn't catch it, so parting off small components, I don't have the spindle actually hitting it, because it's so small. Right, yeah. Okay. So essentially it's working really well with the DMG Mori because you've got the full 5 axis simultaneous. Yeah, good combination, Excellent. yeah. Okay, what about things like swarf evacuation, because that, is that an issue at all with the voice? No, not at all. No, no, it's been designed to get the swarf out. Oh, is that what, underneath, you know, it's all, it's all open, is that right? It's all open, yeah, it's all open. Excellent. Yeah. So, overall then, it sounds like you're fairly happy or very happy with the, the purchase from Mac 2018. And I understand as well, Leader Chuck helped you as well, is that right? Yeah, can't complain. Leader Chuck were very good. We wanted advice there and then they just, they actually said, uh, just take it and try it and we'll invoice you. And, uh, and we, um, that's, that's a good business to, d to deal with, really. Yeah. Excellent. So great, great there from Leader Chuck, and I trust you paid the invoice. Oh, yeah, we did, yeah. <laughs> Julian, it's a great example of UK manufacturing. Thank you very much. Okay, cheers.